Hey guys, welcome back to the phone gap video tutorial. This is Abhishek Bendre. Today we're gonna talk about the device motion that is the accelerometer. Okay, uh, if you're using the uses the Android or iOS devices, this is the most important while playing the racing games. Okay, whenever the coordinates the device coordinates changes, that means the x, y, and z position, uh, the car becomes on a particular direction, goes on a particular direction. That is based on this device accelerometer. Okay, today I'm going to show you how we can get the current uh, device acceleration uh, by using the phone gap. Uh, plugins in Android as well as in iOS. Okay, the same project will run in iOS without any defects. Okay, so uh, here I have added the plugin org.apache.cordova-cordova.device-motion. Okay, this is the plugin uh, from where you can get uh, the uh, plugin downloaded to your project. Okay, so just wait a second. Yeah, guys, coming back to the point. Uh, what I talked about, yeah, uh, we are talking about the accelerometers. Now, uh, here I have a created a simple, very simple example. So, first of all, let me connect my phone to my PC so we can get the proper idea. One sec, okay, here my phone is now connected and uh. Okay, now here is my, my mobile is connected. Okay, uh, here first of all, I would like to tell you uh, something about the accelerometer. I already told you that. Okay, so here first thing that um, we are using the accelerometer. So first of all, I would like to get the current um, acceleration. That means the current position of uh, mobile, uh, the x axis, the y axis, and the z axis. Okay, as well as the timestamp. First of all, I have created a simple on device ready event. On that, I am getting the current acceleration that is on success and error. Uh, here, I have a two functions on success you know, which returns a single parameter on error. Okay, if I uh, got the error while reading the uh, accelerometer, then I'll just alert this message. Okay, and uh, if I got the successful acceleration, then uh, I'll get the proper exact location that is the x position, y position, z position, and this timestamp. Okay, so I am running this project. So simply selecting my device, and uh, this is my device. Okay, uh, now my device is uh, placed at an x position that is the minus zero point. This now, okay. Uh, after that, this is the my current section, and now I am turning my device to uh, landscape. Okay, but I am not getting any other alert uh, related to my x position or y position okay so for that uh, i'm just setting my personal i'm setting a interval function okay that means on a particular intervals i'm getting the alert every two seconds after every two seconds the current position get call and uh, i'll get the position of x and y coordinates Okay, if you see the application is in portrait mode, I'm getting the x position that is 0 and y position that is also 0 and z position that 9.5. Okay, now I'm changing the orientation. Okay, see the orientation changes, the x and y position is also changed. Okay, I'm now on 90 degrees again, the changes again, I am changing this so you can see. The position is changing every time okay but here i am calling the get current accelerometer we have a different function too uh, from where you can get the automatic updation that is called watch acceleration this is the new function okay where you have to specify the where you have to specify the frequency of updations here i have specified the 3 milliseconds, oh sorry, 3 seconds, and every 3 seconds I will get the my position. Okay, here I am running the application. That means I don't need to use the set interval function.
okay and after that I am making it vertical okay I am a uh, little bit portrait and uh, the landscape okay that means that this uh, accelerometer uh, will show you the status okay the status uh, you can say the status of uh, your mobile okay and uh, at last if you want uh, to do not track or do not watch then just call this function that is the clear watch by passing the uh, watch id okay watch id of uh, your existing function at once you can uh, manage to create uh, to get current status okay to watch on current uh, acceleration okay uh, this is all about the r plugin called device motion okay uh, guys thank you for watching if you want to watch the uh, use of earlier plugins you can find it on my youtube channel that is the youtube.com slash web boostings or uh, if you want to uh, get more details about then you can also uh, go to my website that is the programming-guru.com uh, where you can get the different tutorials on programming languages okay whether it's a swift it's a objective c it's a php whatever you want okay so don't forget to subscribe this channel uh, till then bye bye